Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, I wanted to share a real quick update on something I've been working on. Um, you can see this uh, Zenith 5S29 that um, I've been restoring it uses these um, old electrolytic wet capacitors at 22-125 and a lot of the electrolyte is um, been leaking out of the top and also down on the chassis itself at some point in time which I had to clean up. Again that's uh, an aqueous type of material. Uh, the electrolyte itself being nothing more than a conducting medium or an electrolytic uh, conductor. But the electrolyte typically consisted of um, again a watery substance uh, mainly boric acid or another ammonium or sodium borite and uh, at times uh, glycol was um, used as well and that was uh, done so to uh, make it more reliable to uh, temperature changes was my understanding. Anyway that's the same chemical that's used in uh, antifreeze today, that colorless sweet liquid. Anyway I had an idea why not use aluminum tubing of the same diameter and length and uh, try to recreate these and the reason why I thought that was important. I've tried to um, open some of these in the past and created some issues and I ended up stuffing the electrolytic underneath the chassis. In this case I really want to keep the underneath side of the chassis on the 5S29 as clean as possible. So um, I thought really just more for learning on my end. I'm going to actually just recreate these aluminum cans and uh, stuff them that way. And I'll keep these uh, wet electrolytics and possibly cut them open in the future and clean them out and repurpose those because I still have that twin or the additional 5S29 to restore as well. Okay, here's the parts and pieces that I uh, picked up to uh, actually make the uh, tubing and do the fabrication. Again, you can see I've got uh, tubing cutters. And I'll spend more time, I replaced that wheel, and uh, you'll see why. Again, I've got the 1 and 3 8 inch uh, aluminum tubing. I've got a rigid conduit nipple. Again, I've got the uh, conduit lock nut as well, uh, half inch. And then you can see here, I've got the uh, metal hole plug. It's got my uh, holes drilled in it. And lastly, uh, you'll see I've got a uh, grommet. So going back here to the tubing cutter, you can see I replaced the wheel itself with a large, thick washer. And uh, here's a close-up look of that. And the reason why was to create that uh, indentation that you see there at the top of the can. And again, that was done so by removing the wheel itself. There's a look uh, horizontally at the can with it put together. Again, the dimensions are uh, 1 and 3 8 inch diameter times 4 and a half inches long. Try to replicate the top design of the existing uh, cans, and I'll probably use stencils as well. Reapply the part numbers and the Zenith logo. Uh, here's a, a bottom look view again by using that uh, grommet, uh, the nipple, and the other piece. And again, I think the uh, electrolyte caps will uh, go in nicely. I might put a flat washer on the bottom side between the grommet um, itself and the uh, the chassis uh, just to create some better uh, stabilization or just reuse the uh, parts and pieces off the uh, existing electrolytics. So again here's one last look at the uh, completed uh, tubing again the uh, the cap at the end and uh, again I tried to fabricate this to match the existing OEM piece. Uh, it looks fairly well. So, uh, hey folks, thank you uh, for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and for others out there that need a replacement can that don't have one on a missing radio, uh, maybe give this a try. Again, hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.